Hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to make these neat little Christmas bulbs that you can hang on your tree. Sorry. I just got a new puppy and he's everywhere. But they're actually made from fabric. And this one's got fabric and glitter. Okay, so I've got that one. And then I've got this one made. And he's stealing one. No, go play. Okay, so what you're going to need is a crafting knife, some scissors, a pencil, oops, okay, here, here, go play, go play, and <clears throat> some fabric, okay. And then you're also going to need these smooth foam styrofoam balls. They're not like regular styrofoam balls right here, as you can tell. They're like, these ones are really soft and they're easily breakable. Where the smooth foam ones don't break as easy. They're very hard. Okay, you can get them. I don't know if you can get them at the craft store. I haven't seen them there, but I got them off of Amazon. So if you'd like to see how I make these, then please keep watching. Okay everyone, so you're going to want to take one of your smooth foam styrofoam balls and you're going to want to draw a design on it with your pencil. As you can see, there's a little equator line. So I'm going to go ahead and just follow that line first with my pencil, that way it's easier to get the shape of it. Okay. You know what? Actually, I'm going to use a pen. That's not showing up. Okay, sorry about that. So we're going to use a pen and we're going to follow our equator line. All the way around. Sorry, I don't know why my light keeps going out. Okay, so now that we've got it all right all the way around, giving us the perfect, you know, little circle right there. Um, what I forgot to mention was you can use a, a measuring tape to try to get your lines, you know, straighter. And you're gonna need like a, um, a needle or something sharp. I'm using this really fine dotting tool from um, a little kit that I had ordered. Because you're gonna need this to, um, once you cut into the ball, you're gonna be pushing the fabric into the little places where you cut. And you're gonna need something to to push it into but if you're using a needle you need to wear something on your finger because it really does hurt so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a little design on here I'm not gonna get it too complicated though so let's see What we're going to do, we don't need our pen anymore, is so we're going to take our crafting knife. And, 
and we're gonna cut <coughs> excuse me we're gonna cut a, um, a section okay very gently not too hard oops sorry just cut along one of your lines Okay, now I'm going to cut this line right here, so that this whole little triangle is cut. Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got that little section cut, I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to grab my first piece of fabric. And I'm going to use this one. It's kind of cute. I'm going to remove where I put my scissors. Okay. Oh boy, I lost the part I cut. Yep, yeah, right there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of fabric. I'm going to place it over and kind of eyeball how big it is. Okay. Okay. So cut a piece off that's, you know, a good size. And then you're going to take your, your needle or whatever you're using. And you're going to start pushing it in. Just like this. Okay. It's tricky at first because when you start pushing in the other side, this side wants to come out and it's it is very tricky, but once you start doing it more you get the hang of it. Okay. Try to keep it smooth. Use your fingers to smooth it out as you're doing it. that part in. Okay. Same with this side. Okay, now once you got all that in there, what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to not pull it, but you're going to cut off the excess that's sticking out. You don't have to cut all of it off because you're going to tuck the rest in. But this is just too much to try to tuck in, so we're going to cut the majority of it off. Like I said, don't pull on it, but try to get as much as you can. that when I pull on, which is fine because I know what I'm, I know how to get that back in there. Okay, so then you're going to take your needle and you're just going to kind of tuck the rest of it in. Let me zoom in.
that's for the corner. Just gonna tuck it down in there. Pull it to the sides a little bit. Okay. It's not very hard. It is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I'm just not used to doing it on camera. I'm used to just sitting on the couch doing it. But it actually doesn't take too long once you get the hang of it. Okay, so see? There's my first piece. So I'm probably going to um, fast forward the rest of the video, but I am going to video record me doing the rest of it. Okay, everyone, so, um, I'm sorry. My little tool that I was using broke, so I'm just going to use this one. It's a little bit more stable. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to use that one. It's a little bit more stable. And, um, I know I said I was going to use the silk fabric, but I forgot how hard that was to work with. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I figure I'll find another piece of fabric to do that. So in the meantime, I'll just go ahead and start filling in the spaces where I'm going to put this one, and then I'll come back, or I'll go find another piece of fabric that'll color coordinate with this one, and I'll come back and do that and show you how to finish it up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fast forward now.
Okay, so I'm back and I went ahead and I cut the last three pieces that I need to finish with this fabric. And then I found this one, which is kind of cute. And it'll um, go with the color. And it's a little see-through, so you'll see a little bit of white shining through, which I don't mind because it, you know, there's white in this too. So I cut the pieces out for that, and I'm going to go ahead and start fast-forwarding again, okay? Okay, Rowan, so I'm sorry I was out of frame for the rest that I did, but you pretty much got the idea. So I finished it, and this is what it looks like. And it's really pretty. Okay. Now, you can take, like, string like this and stuff, and you can glue it, you know, in the... Oh, gosh. In the parts where you cut. That way it kind of covers that up a bit if you want. But since I'm just making this as a video, I'm not going to, um... I'm not going to do that because it'll just take too long. But all you do is you take your glue, you can take like a toothpick and you put it in there and just lay the string in there. It stays. I've done it. Okay, so to finish it up, pretty much what you don't want to do is you just want to take some glue. You want to take some glue 
and I barely use this anymore, so I'm just going to use this. If I can get it open. Ugh. That stuff stinks. Okay. Um, and then I took these little um, pins from my pin cushion because I do some sewing too. Um, I just put a little glass bead on it and some pretty ribbon that I got at Michael's. And pretty much, you just choose which side you want for the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use this at the bottom. And then, whoops, to kind of secure your little thing right here, this is the bottom. I'm going to dip this into the glue, just like that. Okay, so there's glue on, on the needle itself. Okay, let me stand that up. And then I'm just going to push it into where I want the bottom part to be. And that kind of covers the very lower part. Okay. So see, now we got that pretty part as the bottom. And then with the top, pretty much want to do the same thing, but I put two glass beads instead. And then I put another piece like that and then a larger piece, okay, on the bottom part. So that's going to be the part that hangs. I'm sorry, my kids are eating and they're trying to get my attention right now. Um, so pretty much you just do the same thing with this one. You just put the glue on it. And then you dip this into the center. Just like that. Make sure it's straight though. Unlike mine. And then there you go. And it glues it in place and, and it's ready to hang up. So it's a really fun design or project. It's a really fun thing to do. Um, it's not really kid friendly because you gotta cut and kinda hurt your fingers pushing all this in but it is really fun to do and you know you can make your Christmas tree or whatever a little bit more unique. So So I hope everyone enjoyed and I hope you give this a try and thank you so much for watching. Bye now.